Hey guys, Crimson Demon here. We're just going to go over a quick tutorial on how to use assembly to modify weapon characteristics. I will post additional tutorials at a later date uh, that go over equipment as well as vehicle usage. These are the basic fundamentals that anybody uh, who's just starting to use assembly for Halo Reach, um, and this is basically what you would need to know. Uh, so basically, I'm going to try to cut through as much trial as error as I can for you with this simple tutorial. So let's get started. Whoops. Yeah. I've always felt that the assault rifle was a little bit underpowered. Um, and, and that goes for pretty much. I mean, it's just not good, right? The recoil is pretty much all over the place. It's not good in medium range engagements. So we're going to change it. If you've already noticed, I've changed the mag size to 64 earlier. But. I'm going to show you that. So this is the uh, initial file. I have not made any changes to this file. Um, and this is the initial values. So this first, rounds total initial, is how many rounds does the weapon spawn with initially? And we're going to change that value to 400. Rounds total maximum is the maximum amount of rounds that can be outside of a gun yet available to the player to use and what is inside the actual magazine that is inside the gun. So we're going to come back to this in one minute. Rounds total loaded. So this is how many rounds can be in a magazine. And we're going to change this to 95. Uh, you know what? Yeah, 95. I, I'm an Aliens fan, and I like the Pulse Rifle, so we're going to make this a little bit like the Pulse Rifle from Aliens. All right, and then we have maximum rounds held. And this is the amount of ammunition that can be held outside of a gun. And we're going to make this 400. And so if I wanted to make this all same and simple and linear, I would then make the rounds total maximum 495. Um, and so that, there you go. So then I'm going to apply this change in assembly. I'm going to go back into game. And I should be able to hold 490. 400 rounds, yeah, 495 rounds total, 400 outside of the gun, 95 in the gun. Okay, well, you can also see that my um, digital display on the gun itself changed from 32 to 95, or in this case, 64 to 95, because I was already playing around. And so we'll see. So I'm firing, so I just hit 30 shots a second here. I'm still firing, yeah, so you can see. Now, if you pay attention to the uh, top right corner of my screen, the actual graphics is Graphic is not moving until I get to 32 rounds. Now it's moving, and now I'm depleted. So if you want to modify that graphic, I'm sure you can find a way, but that will not be discussed in this video. So that is that. We have edified, uh, edified, we have modified the magazine. Now let's say I wanted to modify the model. Well, that's pretty simple to do. It's just above the magazines tab. And by the way, you can look right here, and I'm about a little bit more than half laid down the scroll bar. Uh, important thing to note, if you modify the model, you also must modify the animation to be compliant with the model you're using. Otherwise, you can run into a bug. So I've changed the first person model, and I have a concussion rifle, and I'm still firing the assault rifle carry over. The model is simply a cosmetic item, and it's nothing more than really that. Also, only the person that's holding that particular gun uh, will see that model. So you also have to pay attention to the external models to make sure everything is, um, I guess, congruent would be the best word, uh, or the same across all applications. We're now going to go down to projectile. If you noticed, Oh, I forgot to apply that change. If you noticed, I uh, have been firing a little bit, and you see the recoil is really, really off. So we've modified the capacity, and I think that's a good start, but let's change the recoil. The air angle min, or minimum, is the minimum amount of recoil that can be present at any given time. The air angle max is the maximum amount uh, in terms of degrees that can be available at a given time. And degrees can be called units. Um, it's just simply the uh, interpretation of the numerical value that we give um, this maximum amount. So we're going to reduce the air angle min to 0.1. You're a Spartan. You ought to be able to control your recoil, right? That's, that is my belief. And then we have air angle max. 
so the default is 2.5 and I just I don't like that number so we're going to go to 1 a nice simple one we're going to apply our change through poking which is what she said and then as you can see I have a highly highly accurate assault rifle that you know, for the most part it's pretty much on point in these short to medium range engagements I can even hit this target that's way way out there pretty easily right without much skill I think this is too overpowered so what I'm going to do is simply revert this number back to or not all the way back but I'm gonna go about halfway or I'll split the difference uh, to 1.75 I need to make sure I applied that change here And yeah, that's a little bit better. A little bit more recoil, especially on the sides, it's really visible. You can also see the vertical movements in the recoil as well. So this is where I want it. Uh, I think honestly, if I was to make this a little bit more balanced, I would perhaps increase the fire rate and then reduce the mag size to 60 if I was going to be making a weapon overhaul mod, which I am. So stay tuned for that. Um, at a certain point in time I will be releasing what I think should be applied to all of the weapons in this game uh, to make them more balanced and more uh, have more appeal to a player because the assault rifle should honestly be a good gun and right now it's not. So that is the basic weapon modifications but there's one last note that I want to give you and that is the actual projectile located in first person offsets you have the damage reporting type, which in this case is the assault rifle, then the initial projectile. You need to know that when you modify characteristics in the weapons tab, um, you're modifying the weapon, not the projectile. So if I wanted to increase damage, I can make a new, uh, I could reallocate a new entry and I could use characteristics that I wanted for this new projectile, but I'm going to use a pre existing. Uh, where is a sniper rifle? Uh, I'm going to use a pre-existing projectile to kind of illustrate this. So you see that is just deadly. Um, so you need to keep in mind that you're only changing the actual weapon, not the projectile. So if you want to really play around with things like uh, the ballistics and the damage and all that, then you actually need to modify not the weapon, but the projectile, which is located in the tab PROJ somewhere right here, projectile. And you see all these entries for vehicles and weapons, and um, that is where you would do all of those changes. That will be coming in a later video. So I hope this video has been somewhat informative. Um, I hope you've been able to kind of learn a thing or two. Um, and th like I said, this is the most basic stuff. I'm sure you will be doing um, many more awesome things in assembly uh, in time to come. Leave any questions or comments you have below, and I'll try to get to them as quickly as possible. Thank you.